Hello YouTube. So, Deep Baudry here. I have bought a new drill press. So this is a Dayton 20 inch drill press with a three quarter horse motor on it. Uh, it does 2200 RPMs down to 150 RPMs. Right now I have it on its lowest RPM setting. Anyway, nice big cast iron table. Uh, giant column, I guess that's five inches across. I haven't actually measured it. Um, anyway, I made a big base for it. So that's probably twice as big as the one on my old drill press, which was a, a Craftsman, whatever it was, 12 inch. But yeah, this thing weighs like 600 pounds, uh, including my base. And of course, now I have a nice big place to stick all of my fixtures and whatnot. Anyway, uh, yep, lots and lots of hugeness. It's got lots of pulley options, so I can go to 2200 down to 150. Right now, this pulley setting is for the lowest speed. Of course, it's got a crank on it. Would not have one without it. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's pretty big. It's got a couple access panels, another one up inside here, which is what that plate's for, which I've got off right now. I'm gonna see about mounting something up underneath there so my snake lights can mount, because they're obviously not in here right now. Anyway, there is a little tiny problem. So, here is the uh, my dial indicator, and the chuck is not round. <laughs> I mean, I can visibly see it wobbling, and in the chuck right now, I've got the uh, I've got a, a a carbide end mill inside there, half inch end mill. It doesn't matter if you use a bigger one or a smaller one. Uh, the chuck is the problem. I've checked up here on this part which is the outside of the actual shaft from the top and that's got almost no movement in it at all there's just a little bit of vibration and also I've done it on this part right up in here which is the top of the taper and it's got the same movement as this does in it so it's not anything there uh, really the problem is it's inside the uh, it's either the taper that goes inside the chuck or it's the chuck itself is the problem um, the, uh, the chuck fell off so you can see this hole down here I know it's kind of in the shade, but there's a hole through the middle. I drilled that out uh, earlier today so that I could have a place where I could like plunge through the table because there wasn't one there. Um, <clears throat> and in the process of that, the uh, the one inch drill I was using in there, it it uh, the the chuck came loose, came right out of the taper right here. And then this taper inside here is kind of galled up, and then inside the chuck is galled as well because clearly it's come off before. So anyway, I cleaned those up as best I could with a diamond wheel and then put it back together again, you know, trying to take off just only the gold parts and leaving all the rest of it good. Uh, then I heated up the chuck on my stove and then jammed it on there and then hammered it in place. So it is an absolutely <laughs> tight fit. It will never come off. But uh, yeah, it would not uh, it would not clean up. As you can see, there's that movement in there. So anyway... Uh, but on a plus note, so right here there is a screw, and over here on the other side there are two more screws. So these two over here, you tight, you loosen this one up first, and then you tighten these two up, and then you can uh, basically clamp around the entire quill assembly uh, so that you get out as much movement as possible. So that's basically what I've done. Yeah, here's the Allen key. And then once you get it so that uh, the quill won't plunge anymore, you know, in other words, you've just got it snug enough so that it won't plunge anymore. Then you tighten this one up, and then it kind of spreads it back out, you know, a controllable amount, so that you, you basically have all three of those screws under tension with each other. And as a result, uh, I get, whoops, let me move my dial indicator out of the way. So anyway, I get nice smooth operation, but if I put the dial indicator back on here, this is something I could never do with the uh, Craftsman. And set that to whole number. There we go. So set on the 10. I'm going to push on here pretty hard. That's it. And I got three thousandths worth of movement. We pull on it. And that way I'm getting one thousandth. So that's almost nothing. I've made sure that like the set screws and the column are tight. Uh, of course, the table is, is clamped down tight as well. So anyway, I'm getting, push on there again, four thousandths, <clears throat> I'm pulling on it, one thousandths that way. 
So uh, I've cleaned up, just because that clamping mechanism that's in there, I've cleaned up all the quill movement. And if I uh, go front to back, which is really nice. Okay, here we go. We won't worry about where we are. So I know that's a really bad angle. If I pull on it, I'm getting 2,000 as hard as I can pull on it. And I push on it, and I'm getting 1,000, or two, yeah, 1,000. So uh, as hard as I can push and pull on the thing, I've got very little movement. And if I showed you the same thing on the uh, Craftsman, you would see that I would get in every direction, uh, probably about 10 thousandths in every direction. So it created a lot of chatter uh, that I should now have gone. And uh, that chatter would, of course, would cause uh, mills to self-destruct. Anyway, much better drill press. Uh, Three-quarter horse motor on it. I mean, you know, <laughs> it weighs 500 pounds. It's absolutely a beast. So it should uh, do pretty good. And, oh, the cool part is I paid 600 bucks for it. So I'm pretty happy. Uh, I might need to replace the bearings up inside here. We'll see. Maybe that will get rid of some of the play in there. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is a significant improvement. I just need to get another chuck because this one has got so much slop in it. But look how slow this thing goes. I mean, this is 150 RPMs. Oh, yeah. And let me do that, too. Turn that bad boy back on. Stick my micrometer back on there. Yeah. I mean, that's a lot of run out. I can see the thing wobbling. That's a ridiculous amount of run out. That's just not okay. I've got to get another chuck. Well, this is Debaudry saying uh, happy quarantine and good luck to you all. Stay well. Yeah, let's see what kind of new cool shit I can make in my drill press.